What are the major terrorist threats affecting the stability of Somalia, and how will it affect U.S. interests? There are a number of different militant Islamist movements that are operating out of Somalia. Um, the primary group of concern for the United States is the Al-Qaeda East Africa cell. Al-Qaeda East Africa cell was responsible for the 1998 attacks on the U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania, followed up by a series of attacks in Kenya just north of Mombasa and on an Israeli jetliner departing uh, Mombasa airport back for Tel Aviv in 2002. Uh, in addition to the Al-Qaeda East Africa cell, they have been receiving support from a Somali Islamic movement known as Al-Shabaab. Al-Shabaab is a loosely structured jihadist organization that for a long time provided rear-based support and protection for Al-Qaeda uh, so that they could organize their attacks against Western targets in Kenya, Tanzania, elsewhere. But the Al-Shabaab has really taken on its own uh, agenda these days. They have a vision of a very strict Islamist government, a Salafist government, uh, that would cover not just Somali territories, but much of the Islamic areas or Muslim areas of the Horn of Africa, and to have that as an emirate that could potentially link up with Al-Qaeda-governed areas elsewhere. So we have seen some U.S. nationals, uh, mostly of Somali descent, going back and joining with al-Shabaab, uh, at training camps uh, inside Somalia. Uh, a couple of these individuals are reported to have engaged in suicide bombing attacks against Somali targets uh, inside Somalia uh, for al-Shabaab. And there's always a serious concern that Shabaab or al-Qaeda East Africa cell could convince some of these individuals to use their Western passports to come back to the United States, go to the UK, someplace else in the Western world to, to conduct a terrorist attack there.